Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in the basement because I have a little thinky here that broke in Portugal and as my uh, next trip to Portugal is not that far away I um, I wanted to see if I could fix it I had though already uh, purchased some replacements um, but yeah I thought it would be fun to see if I could fix this one uh, this one is a power injector and I have on my mountain at my house in Portugal I have this um, 4G router a parabolic one that is pointing towards a, uh, a phone tower where I get my 4G signal and then I, I receive that and then I send it down to the house which is on the other side of that hill and to power that parabolic 4G router um, it's done with this thing so um, there is a network connection and there's a network connection in here this port and it goes out this port and then there is an extra wire where you connect some power and I do believe it says here what power you can connect from 18 to 57 volts you can put in there and it's pin 4 and 5 that are the voltage and pin 7 and 8 it says it's return I don't know if it sees me but yeah this thing got water damage down there I have wrapped it very well in a plastic bag to prevent it from getting wet but water got in there anyway and then it couldn't get out so water came into this and as there is power in here well it started to corrode really quickly add a bit of voltage to some water and you have a disaster on your hands you can kind of see how two of the pins are are missing there in the middle and that's the two power pins pin uh, which what was I saying oh maybe we can see this now if it wasn't upside down there this is what it says um, pin four and five was the was the voltage ones it's pretty damaged inside we can remove the plastic there's a bit of corrosion and stuff but I happen to have some of these connections so I thought well we can at least try and, and replace the connector and see if that's just it uh, we do have some corrosion on here and some resistors and stuff that might not be too great anymore but yeah I have some some isopropyl alcohol uh, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that in English but yeah it's the alcohol that is meant for cleaning stuff so hope, hope it's good so we'll just take the lead off and we'll put a bit of it in the lead and I have my favorite toothbrush here and I'll clean this out a bit see if we can get some of this nasty stuff off of there That's actually going pretty well, I think. Seems to clean up really well. Oh, and then it found a, a cut on my finger. Wonderful. <clears throat> yeah, this is nasty stuff to get into a little scratch. Ugh. I was actually looking for something else uh, a few days back and found that I had a whole assortment of, uh, of connectors that would fit in this uh, so I thought well let's try and replace it I think this might actually do the tr no I don't know I might not have exactly the right one but the holes no that's not going to do it and we have this one that only has six pins that's not optimal we need one with eight pins oh dear eight pins but the alignment is wrong I 
Okay, dang it. I had a whole assortment of them and none of them will work. <sighs> Typical. I think I'll take this out anyway. Might be able to fix it at a later time. Probably not really worth it, but yeah. Sometimes you just do stuff for the fun of it. I'm gonna have to remove the solder because there are so many connections here. Uh, but to move it faster and quicker, I'm gonna resolder all of the connections. As this connector is absolutely dead and not savable, I'm gonna remove these plastic things here. Oh, they were very ready to go. If there was a chance that I could use this connector again, I would have tried to save it. Okay, I managed to remove the connector. Uh, it's very dirty. So. Oh dear. It's not supposed to be shiny. Yeah, I think this is too far gone to be fixable. I have never seen this green stuff come off before. Just flakes off. Weird. So, yeah, I don't believe that I'm gonna be able to do much with this. Uh, if I had one of those connectors that, that would have worked, I, that would have been better, but even the one uh, there is two pins stuck inside of this that didn't come out. They broke off instead of coming out with the connector. Where did that bloody connector go? You can see there is missing some pins in the middle there. Maybe it's only one though. I am gonna give up on this one. It's too far gone. I just thought if I had had the right connector here, uh, which I thought I had, this looked so normal, but apparently there is a trillion different uh, connectors for these. Uh, so yeah, waste, e-waste. Yeah, I need more. So instead we could try and have a look at the, at the ones that I got to replace it. Uh, it's like a set. So um, the idea is that you can have um, an injector in each side of an RJ45 connector and you can put in power in, in one side and, and you can kind of get the power out in the other side. Um, and these are watertight. So it, it comes with a, with a thinky here. There is all kind of rubber and, and little O-rings, gaskets, things. So. I'm hoping to make the next one watertight so that I don't get water in it. So I hope this one is the same. It says two piece POA injector splitter waterproof. Uh, yeah. So could be fun to figure out where the power comes out. Okay, I continued a little bit without you. Uh, yeah, sometimes this stuff doesn't work and I don't wanna waste your time <coughs> too much. I am wasting your time, I know, but yeah, let's not, let's not overdo it. So um, I'm sending in power here. I have my favorite power supply up here, 14.2 uh, volts and um, we're sending that in uh, positive in the in the middle here and negative on the outside into the injector here and I have sacrificed the the the, the patch cable here uh, to be able to measure the voltage and I found out that pin number 
4 and 5 are the blue ones so if I connect my multimeter to the to the to the blue one and the white blue one I see that they are connected they, they are short circuited I'm pretty sure let's try and do a beep yes and we also have pin um, like this one set pin uh, pin four and five and pin seven and eight seven and eight is the brown and uh, brown white one and if i measure those two there are zero volts between those two and i just beeped it as well but if i measure the voltages between the 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 blue ones and the and the brown ones i get my 14.2 volts coming out of it so um yeah we found our voltage there so apparently two connectors are used for the the positive going forward and then uh, two others for the negative connection going back so uh, yeah so unfortunately this video didn't go as planned and there is some uh, some components on this pcb some uh, coils here and some resistors and a transistor and a little diode so the little diode uh, lights up when there is power on the system um yeah i'm guessing that this is just for cancelling out some noise that would be my best guess it's to protect the 4g router from spikes if um, if i had a long cable on that i'm not gonna have a long cable but yeah i'm not entirely sure if i need that but I don't think so. So unfortunately this video got a bit shorter as I didn't have the right components and as the little PCB fell apart when I was trying to fix it. So that happens. I do already have a solution which I hope will work. I even bought four of those things. They were cheap. <laughs> they came from China. I will uh, try and leave a link in the description. I doubted that any of you would ever need them but well Sometimes years later someone asks uh, what is that thing called and then a link is very helpful But other than that, I'm not gonna ask you to like this video because it was a total disaster But thank you very much for watching my video and do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again with more luck next time Bye bye